Welcome to this week's Paint Your Style. I have decided to use the 31 Purple Fish paints. I've gone back and forth over what colors I'm going to use this week, but I feel like using 31 Purple Fish paints. I was so excited when I saw this reference image. It feels very me. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to tackle it though. So I've decided to use 31 Purple Fish paints and the new Bao Hong, well new to me, Academy hot press paper. I haven't tried it yet. I've had it for about a week. I've been using the cold press a bunch, but I haven't tried out the hot press. But looking at the reference, I think hot press is what I want. So we're gonna get into this. I am really excited, but I have also chosen palettes where I have a huge color selection from one brand. I used them recently in a piece, not on here, but I'm gonna sort of set them along the top. And then I'll have access to everything. I don't think I'm gonna wet everything. And I think the way I'm gonna work is with a wet background and sort of work my way in. So let's get into this. I am actually quite excited, which surprises me. So scratch that. I am going to wet something. I'm going to wet smoke blue. in this brush. I don't like whatever colors in the brush. Um, that's the color I wanted. There we go. So I'm just gonna like work the background and then I'm gonna work the other colors in. But I like that the background has this light blue to it. I just chose the hot press because I've been wanting to try it, but it's hard to find a piece that it'll work well with. I think this is it because this is just a lot of building colors and sort of soft lines. over here that basically blacks out everything so I'm also going to throw in some. That is not what I want. Actually, that's what I want. No, I had what I wanted. And then let's grab some greens. I'll roll with a couple different ones. I'm just like continuing to throw brown in. Mm 
here. Alright. Out of these greens. I'm sort of going for a mix. But we're keeping sort of the darkest ones over here. Having the like lighter, brighter ones over here. Oh, I do want to leave them brighter. I don't like to work on hot press very often, but this is actually pretty nice. Just hot press isn't the paper choose to work on normally. I just screwed this up. Lines up very straight. All right, I'm gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna come in and do more. Because it's cotton, it took a bit to dry. But we are gonna go and work in some other greens. Just to add 
some more life into this section. Because I do like how this has been mapped out. I like the sort of movement of it. I just need it to have a bit more life to it. So that it looks a bit more mouse-like. In this case, we're just achieving that by like where we're adding water. And I'm looking at the piece and it does have quite a few layers to it, so we're gonna go into, that's too blue. I'm gonna stick in this smoke blue. And then I need a wet cobalt. And I'm gonna wet cobalt with my brush still full of other blue. The trick here is that I want there to be light and life. I want it to feel like there's light. And I'm bad at painting light. It's not something that I am particularly good at. There are some great books on painting light that I need to invest in. For now though, we need to sort of muddle our way through. I have to say, a Kleenex or my finger is probably one of my favorite painting tools. I use them so often when I'm doing things, especially something like this where I'm just like moving color. more speckly with light than the first. So much of watercolor is building up layers. Sometimes I forget that. Could have probably added way more trees. Committed to this lack of trees. So, we're just committing hard to this lack of trees. Or this, you know, it's, it's a lack of trees. There. Let's let this dry. Alright. Let's go back to the trees. Chose. I want to add some more foreground trees. my life easier.
back to it. Toss one over here. Adding trees at this point. They don't need to be perfect, but they do need to be tree shaped. I like it so much better now. <laughs> so now we get to do our little mushrooms. We're gonna go for some seashell. We're gonna clean off this color. And now we're gonna go for some sea seashell. I think that's what this is. Well, I might be wrong though. Let's let that dry. I've only just realized that the mushrooms are up here on the original, but it's a paint your style, and so the mushrooms get to be wherever they bring me joy. Isn't that great? So second layer is done, and now we get to dry it again. For the top of our mushroom, I'm going to use Incredible Haze. Because it's a really pretty color and I almost never have an excuse to use it. It's also a really weird color. It's like a bluey, purpley, browny color. And it's like perfect for these mushrooms. I'm also being not super nice to my brain because I am not taking notes on what colors I'm using. I'm just sort of grabbing from these palettes. And so much later me is going to go, what colors did you use? But again, that is not a now me problem. That is a many hours from now, probably many weeks from now me problem. Because I'm just gonna label this video 31 Purple Fresh colors. In all honesty, the chances of any of these colors being restocked anytime soon is pretty slim. I think most of these are spring and summer colors. A few of them might be winter colors. But there we go. There is this week's little fairy garden ish paint your style. Okay. I'll actually. Let's see if I can figure out what I used. I think I can probably figure it out by what's wet. So this might actually be doable. Let's see. We have... I used the screen and I know because it was really awkward to grab. used this screen. I used this screen. I used 
the screen. I used the screen. I used smoke blue. Used cobalt. I used incredible for the mushrooms. I used what I think is seashell, but totally might be something else. I used this, which I think is milk chocolate. I used this, which I believe is lunar rock. I might be wrong though. And then I used this. which is sepia haze. It's a very pretty color palette for this little picture. So, let's look at the spreadsheet. So I can tell you if my colors are right or not. Where's a pen? This pen. We have the dirty yellow, then two down from dirty yellow. Is kelp. This is this kelp. This is moss. This is olive. Means this is midnight rose. This is cobalt. This is I want to say soft blue. It might also be uh, blue smoke. Soft blue is not made by her. This is you are milk chocolate. I don't know if that is seashell or eggshell. I have both. Just can't remember which one is in with the pinks and which one. That is seashell. Which means next is lunar rock. Here we go. Not as bad as I thought it would be to figure out what they were. I really like it. It's such a moody palette for such a cute piece. I'm so happy with it. Um, yeah. And I love this like speckling. And I'm happy I went in and added more trees. I wasn't happy with the first set of trees. Background trees are always hard. 
especially because they they're so out of focus in the picture like the only thing in focus is the mushrooms and so I tried really hard to have them out of focus and then I hated them and I say about watercolors is you can always go back in and add and I have at some point touched this with the color There we go. Fixed. Just like that. Finish paint your style. <laughs>